Hey, what's going on? I was wondering if there's anyone you have your eye on. I'm fairly perceptive in matters of the heart, so I can tell you what the many girls in your life think of you. Please feel free to ask me for an update any time. As you continue on your journey, the conversation choices you make will determine how you're regarded. Which in turn may affect the story's outcome, so be sure to check back with me from time to time and always think before you speak. And that's the thing that's going to be taking place throughout this game is affinity, pretty much. Um, it was We actually just went through the first one, is choosing who you want to go with for the arena. And I chose Shizugu because I want her ending. Um, this game's fairly easy to get a certain ending. All you really have to do is choose which girl you want to go where. It's pretty simple. So let's check our messages. Antoinette. Ahoy, hoy! It's your arena manager, Antoinette. I'm looking for spunky warriors to fight in my arena. Those who consider them themselves grapplers or just want to score some winnings, just uh, step right up to, op to my open air arena. Oh man, that's a long sentence, so I just lost myself. So pretty much we're going to arena. Uh, we can check Pitter again, because we have another thing. Akiba Foodstuffs. So we got stuff about home lunches. Oh yeah, I remember Misery. Misery's really fucking dark and sad. And then she's like, nobody asked you goddamn trap. There was a controversy about this actually. Um, people got really angry at Xe because they translated that to trap. And people got really mad about that. And I mean, that's kind of like a common thing in... Sorry, I'm kind of skipping past this a little bit. I, like, I don't really blame them for that because they're trying to go with a certain mood with this game. And that's like a, a thing in Japan is like calling people traps and like people creating trap characters. And it is rather offensive. So, yeah, people will get mad. But like, that's just that's just a thing that is said sometimes. So, sorry if you're offended by that, but it's just a thing. Uh, you can talk to some people. Uh, you can change partners if you really want to, if you didn't really like your choice, so... Go fight! Uh, if you look at the screen right now, that's an actual game. Like, you, that's actually translated. You can go buy that game for the, uh, the Vita, I believe. Uh, Mine Zero. That's a actual RPG game. I actually kind of want to play that game. I want to pick that up at some point. But yeah, that's a, that's a real thing. That's that's a lot of this game. There there are a couple of things in this game where you're going to see stuff like that. It's really cool. Um, but for now, we need to head to the arena. I'm sorry, by the way, there is a lot of dialogue starting off in this game that we're just going to have to sit through and deal with. Um, I put the dialogue on auto because it makes it easier just so I don't like skip text by accident and stuff. But it doesn't let me have a chance to kind of like intervene sometimes and talk about something. So I might turn it off at some point and uh, be like, hey, blah, 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 funny jokes. So, oh, hey, we're getting a fight. Oh, whoops, I jumped. Oh, no, not the cop. Okay, the cops are really strong in this game. We got to be careful. So I kind of just started this out of the blue. You, you don't have to do this. I'm just like, oh, let's start a fight. We can get this. There we go. So we got this girl kind of naked. Bam! Uh, you can kind of force the police. Oh, well, she ran away. You can kind of force the police to win because the weird thing about the police is they have high defense but low HP. So... But they do so much damage. Ow! So, if you really want to, like, wail on this girl, you can. Uh, let's see if we can actually try and beat her. Nope. Uh, you can't run away if you really want to. Uh, oh. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna fix myself up. This is such a waste of time, I don't have to do this. God, she has so much freaking HP. Uh, 
Nah, it's gonna take too long. Okay, well, we'll come back. We're gonna have, like, enough stuff to combat police people in the future. But for now, we're a little too weak, so it's probably best to just run away. Uh oh I gotta put my weapon away. There we go. Well, we gave it our best shot, so... But yeah, I might turn the auto off just so I can intervene sometimes and talk a little bit. Because that was like a straight 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes of dialogue. And I don't want you to... What is with that police person? They were just spinning in circles. I don't want you to like, be like, waiting for me to talk. Because, you know, people come to Let's Plays and they want the Let's Player to talk. And I'm just like, you know, the game takes priority. Please check out this game. It's so cool. So that's a thing. Um, also, oh, you know what's a weird thing in this game? If you, like, walk next to these assistants. I know, I know they give it to you without talking, I think, but these assistants give you flyers and shit, and they're not, like, useful or anything. They're just like, you know, if you go to Japan and you see those girls and they're like, hey, here, take this, and you're just like, oh, I don't care. That's, like, an actual thing, so. Uh, I'm, I'm going, like, I have no idea where I'm going. Is there, yeah, here we go. Uh, you can... Okay, so we want to go up somehow. Uh, there is a friggin', like, low map like this, and you can actually fast travel. So, we just need to head to Junk Street. So I need to find my way to Junk Street. I just need to, like, make sure where I'm going. Main Street. Yeah, so we're down there. I don't want to... We can actually, if we explore each place, we'll, we'll gain access to them. So let's actually go down and explore each place and stuff. But there is a freaking marker, so I'm like, oh, I don't know which way to go. But yeah, just follow the fucking marker, you idiot. So, let's do that. Did I miss it? Oh, it's up. But, for right now, we're just carrying a little bat. And we have a bunch of crazy clothes on up here. We have, we have Junk Street, yeah. Can you, like, man, like, sometimes that happens. Sometimes he just walks back like a weirdo. Uh, Junk Street's kind of like the, uh, like the, the little small areas with the tiny shops, and you can go up to them and be like, hey, how's it going? What you got here? And you can just check it out. I have 10,000? That's quite a bit. Uh, we can buy a plastic bath if we really want to. You know, I think I will actually. Let's buy a bat. Thank you very much. Thanks. Um, you can check back here. There's a bunch of like buffs and stuff you can get. Like the latest OS from DSP. Fuck DSP. What a piece much. of shit. <laughs> Dude? Um, so let's change the equipment. Get a plastic bat out. It's the same item. It's just better. So, um, that's a thing. There are also levels you can gain in this game, and we're going to be gaining levels throughout the game. And, yeah, there's there's a lot of things in this game. It, it's it's still rather simplistic, though. Like, it's pretty simplistic. Oh, I went the wrong way. Sorry. Check out that ad for that thing in Japan. I need to figure out which way I need to go properly. I'm not looking on the map. I'm just, like, kind of talking and rambling. This way? No, it's just an otaku. Where do I need to go? Did I? Oh yeah, I turned it off. Sorry. This way. Um, there are also side missions in this game. I'm going to be doing pretty much all of them just because I want to show them off. This is a rather short game, so I might as well show a good amount off that I can. So yeah. This is like this is like a 180 here, by the way, because we're going to the arena. The arena's like out of the way. Like weird place it's so cool well now it's rare to get customers at this hour hmm oh you must be the boy pops was telling me about you look rather ordinary to me but perhaps there's more to you than meets the eye oh where are my manners I'm the manager of this establishment you may call me Antoinette while I don't own the arena, the one who does is presently on a journey, so I am in charge for the time being. Now then, let's get started, shall we? This facility exists to help one achieve his or her full potential. It is a place where rivals cultivate each other's growth. 
Those who win do receive reward money, but the true reward is the experience itself. However, not everyone has the heart of a champion. If you wish to stand victorious within this ring, you must first prove yourself worthy. I will now test that worth, if I may. Are you ready? I'm always ready. I was born ready! I will be assisting him. As you wish. Please, step into the ring. Good luck. I'll follow your lead. Let's do it. God, so cool. It's just a random arena. They block it out and we're going to get a bunch of fights to do. If we're to continue fighting the synthesizers, we're going to need a more efficient means of defeating them. I think I know just the technique and this is the perfect chance for you to practice it. Let's begin. So let's do it. Ow! Oh, oh, they're teaching me the chain strip. Okay. Oh, damn. There we go. So, change strip. Uh, if you get a bunch of items, like if you've heard a bunch of items, you can just strip constantly over and over and over again. It's really cool! Yeah! And because of a chain, when a tra chain strip happens, you basically make everyone naked. So let's steal their underwear. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, I wanted, I wanted to take their stuff. You, bitch. Well done. Though considering who sent you here, I shouldn't be surprised. And you. You were simply amazing. So much so that I'm tempted to scout you. Much obliged. Here's your pass. With this, you may come make use of the arena anytime you wish. Please make this Coliseum roar with the flames of your passion. This seems like a good place to train. I'm sure we'll be back. But for now, let's return to Mogra. All right. So, I wonder if we can still go- Okay, we can. Cool. Uh, we can get money this way. Just grab a bunch of shit. Microphone. We can use a lot of weird techniques and- Or, I'm sorry. Uh, weapons in this game. It's really cool. So, we got a bunch of mail now. You have considerable skill. I'll be waiting in the arena during normal business hours. So feel free to drop by for a challenge any time. So th she's just explaining about the arena. We're actually going to do one more thing in the arena. Like I'm going to do a rank in the arena just to show it off properly. Because the earlier ranks are rather easy and also we can get pretty cool reward from it. So I want to show that off. But pretty much just the arena stuff. So something happened. We have to check the bar soon. But we're going to do some training first. So let's talk to Antoinette. So, I'm hunting for a kiss. Uh, you can actually ask her to fight you. And I should mention this, by the way. Everything that people will wear in this game, you can actually get. You can wear and put on characters. So, the uh, outfit she has on right now, you can actually get that. Which is really cool. Like, but hell yeah. It's really awesome. Like, god, I love this game. So, she's telling us that our current rank is... F, let's just hit it up. Uh, the ranks go up to A or S, I believe. I think it's A? I don't remember an S, but I might be wrong. She she actually might be S, because I don't remember, really. But anyway, here's a dude. We're going to beat him up. Um, though we are just starting off, so people are going to be... These guys aren't impossible, but they are going to be kind of like they hit pretty hard so be warned if you don't want to do this 
I've never seen him go that far. He's off the arena? Uh... I don't... I don't know what to do. We can't hit him. Oh, this is bad. Shizuku. Come over here, please. Okay, there we go. Um, you can't order her like I just did by hitting the, uh, the D-pad. But yeah, every time you take clothes off, you'll be gaining experience. That's really good. I really need to get closer. This this combat system's kind of clunky, so just for a small warning, uh, just be sure you know that this combat system's kind of fucking clunky. So as long as you take it for what it's worth, uh, you'll be fine. Okay, Shizuku, calm down. So bring on the next competitor! They all have their own little title school, it's nice. Oh, poor Shizuku. Oh, he fixed himself. God damn it. I was trying to, like, beat him out. Oh, yeah, they have super armor. These, when you have a heavy weapon, sometimes they have super armor, and it kind of sucks. But I'm gonna do this and break it off. Oh, wait, that breaks defenses. I gotta get used to this game again. But this is the game. Like, this is what you can expect from this game. I'm gonna fucking heal up. Sorry, buddy. Oh, you're an asshole. Even though I just did the same thing, you're an asshole. No, fuck off. Um, so you can't run away and dodge and stuff like that. Which is what you want to do for heavy weapons like that. They're a little ridiculous. No, we're not escaping. Shizuku's like, no, you gotta run away. And I'm like, fuck that. We shouldn't be doing that. Well, it's not that we shouldn't be doing this right now. It's just... Okay, we shouldn't be doing this right now. But it's not that tough, and you get a cool reward from it that I really want to show off. So... When you're in a combo, by the way, you can't really guard. And I really want to guard when in a combo, but I can't, and it sucks. Ow, that shit hurts. And it also helps that you can heal whenever you want, so... Give me that shit. Goodbye, you fucking... That guy was hardcore. So now for the final round, we get two opponents, which might be a little difficult, but we just gotta take it. Ow. I don't even have my weapon now, come on. The only thing is you can't combo. I thought, I think you get more combos later on and that's the thing. Because I, I only have a three hit combo right now. Come on, shoe! Give me your clothes! I need this! <laughs> so we just got a level up right there, by the way. And that should help us out a little bit. Okay, you wanna play that way? Suck guarding, you little piece of... Oh my god. Okay, back up, back up. Just gonna heal up. Healing is ridiculous in this, in this game. It's actually rather broken. Because you can just do it. And it helps a lot. Okay, I can't hit this guy. Fucking back off. And Shizuku's handling her own right back there, so that's good. I'm just hoping I can take care of this one guy. Oh god, this ain't good. Heal up. Uh, I will say with healing, though, it does take longer each time you do it. So, that's the thing. God, this guy's good! I think they just tore off her 
Here, here thing. I gotta be careful. They can take off close for Shizuku as well. What? I was guarding! This bull! There we go. Give me your fucking pants. Oh, damn it. I messed that up. Oh, God. Ow. This is really hard. Should I have done this? I don't know. Let's go. This is a really long fight. Like, I shouldn't have done this. Oh, well. Okay, we're getting close for this guy, though. I just got I just got forced it now. Come on. Almost. I'm sorry, this fight's taking a really long time. I didn't think it would take that long. Damn it. Get out of here. Oh, really? Give me this. Now I'll take his shirt. Okay, now we should go a little bit faster because we just have one guy left. Almost. I'm actually gonna run back here and grab this racket. Thanks. I'm gonna be baby. St I'm gonna friggin' be. I forgot his name. Baby stuffs. But whatever. We win. <laughs> So now we're up to rank E. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. I'm sorry. And we get King of the Drunken Fist. I'm going to show what that all, what is. That is in a bit. As we run back. Sorry about that. I didn't think that'd take that. That didn't. That are. Yeah. I didn't think that'd take so long. If you check this out. Where is it? Right here. Um, you can change this hand equipment to King of the Drunken Fist. Um, this is going to be a thing in a bit. Oh yeah, this is this affects how you walk. Yeah. Um, you're going to be getting... I'll just explain it right now. Pretty much, if you get one of these, it will affect how you walk. Like, so, sometimes you get really weird ones where you walk really strangely in the world map. It's really strange. And also, for this, this affects how you strip people. So... When you weaken down their clothes and you start stripping them, he'll do like a weird animation thing, and you'll see once we have a chance for that. A lot of explaining. But it's the first few episodes, so we're just gonna get explaining out of the way. But anyway, let's head back to Magra. Um, really? I'll probably be doing a little bit grinding off screen and doing like side quests just to get some money and stuff. And just to do some levels. But I will show all of the arena. I do want to show all of the arena. But I won't do it when I'm under-leveled and dumb. So, there's... There's the thing. I wonder if I can just do, uh... Just go to UD+. I don't want to go straight to Magra. Well, yeah, I do. Let's just go to Magra.